Hello, we are being joined by Team Heretics who are off of their victory against 100 Thieves. Uh, we'll begin with some questions from the remote media and then move to the in-house media. Uh, Strafe, would you like to start us off? I'm fucking strong. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, guys, I'd like to say it was a great game from you guys. Uh, you guys look you guys look really strong on both the maps. So this question is open to all the players and the coach. Uh, do you think that 100 Thieves couldn't just adapt to your style of play like or or do you think you had the better stretch like what do you think the secret was behind behind such a dominant match from your side yeah. or or do you yeah. think it was just a matter of confidence yeah you can answer because i just lost the one-on-one -on -one with my head so, so i have no idea what you said okay, go with. uh first of all we have better igl second we have better coach stuff <laughs> i mean we have better duelists. i mean i'm not gonna lie everyone is better like the the stuff we had prepped, like um, it was mainly like boo on bind and you know the coaches. Like it was really really good the anti strats and like preparation we had. Um, so yeah, I think it's very oh, a lot down to them. And we were just shooting well, and obviously we was you know he's woo. So all right, thank you, thank you. We'll go next to Pedro Romero. You guys, likewise, congrats on the victory, a pretty resounding victory at that against 100 Thieves squad uh, that uh, coming into this uh, was looked at as one of the, the contenders for the title. Um, Well, got to ask about Sunset. I mean, another dominant showing, another W, another uh, victory in that match specifically. Just, I mean, question goes out to anyone that can answer. What makes you guys just so dominant in that map for this year? Um, do you want me to answer again? Okay. I'm not going to give too much away on, you know, why we're so good at it, but I think everyone just has a very good understanding of the map. Um, I think we kind of like found the the best agents for, and it fits our players really well. Um, and we already know kind of like what to do if someone tries to any strats. So yeah, I just think we understand the, the map really well. We have answers for almost everything. Um. So yeah, I think everyone just likes it. It's, it's comfortable for us. Thank you. We'll go next to Nerditude. Thank you so much. My question is for Benji. Yes. Benji, on the first day of the Master in, in the media day, I asked you if you felt at uh, this advantage to the player change. And now look how far you come. How did you manage to overcome everything that happened and reach the final stage of the tournament? Um, I think just the combination of everyone on our team is just incredible. The coaching staff, the players, we're all in form right now. And I think you can see it when we're playing. Um, I think Patty has done a ridiculously good job um, in adapting, you know, to us playing, you know, uh, learning, you know, how we want to play. Obviously, he had an idea um, just from... You know, playing with us before, but obviously we changed some stuff. So I think he's done an incredible job, and it's it's kind of been easy. You know, the further we've gone in the tournament, the better we've got, and yeah, I I don't see it stopping. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll go next to uh, Morty from Sons of Chaos. Hello, everyone. Uh, congratulations on the victory today, guys. My question is for Benji. Uh, Benji, now moving into the next match. What are those uh, key points that you need that your team needs to keep in order, like, to get a win in the next match? Um, I think it's just staying staying focused, sticking to what we know, our fundamentals. We we know we're really good. We know they're also really good, but I think we know we can beat them. I think we showed that we could beat them on the second match against them. Um, I think in an, like on any other day we would have closed out the ascent game. Um, but we we learn a lot from that. And yeah, I think now that we've we've played against them a few times, we know how they play. And I think that's going to be a big factor. So yeah, I'm feeling really confident. Thank you and good luck in the coming match. Thank you. Uh, we'll go back to Strafe Esports for the next question. Hi. Uh, so again, this question is open for everyone. So And it's a bit similar to the last one. So with your next match being against G2, you guys have already faced them once okay. in, the, in this tournament. So like, how is the confidence level of the team for the matchup and how and what's the plan for that matchup? If you'd like to share a few words. I can see. 
I mean, we faced them twice, both both times. But I think on both games we <clears throat> we could have won. We had advantages, especially on second game. Um, I think the difference maker right now is the experience we already got, like losing that eleven too late. Um, build us as a team. Um, showed us that anything is possible. Losing huge comebacks is possible, but also making huge comebacks is possible. So yeah, like that new experience uh, combined with the fundamentals that we have. When we play good fundamentally, we're just winning rounds. Like it's as easy as that. So combining that, like we played them third time, and they're obviously a good team. But like it's on us if we win or we lose, and we're gonna do our best to use what we learned during the tournament. All right, thank you. We'll go to Pedro Romero for the next question. Hello. Yeah. Uh, got a question for for Woot. I mean, just got to ask about your individual performance. You know, 51, 28 KD, pretty good showing, uh, I might say. But yeah, uh, just how, how do you kind of look at your performance and how did you, how, how what made you play so well uh, for you in particular? I think I'm getting best support like in the world. Like my teammates always helping me. Also, our comps are helping me as well. So, I think we are countering them in a game plan and I'm just using that, that game plan and killing them. Like that's why I, I have good stats as a duelist. I think it's all because of the my team. Thank you. We'll go next to ner Nerditude. Hi again, my question. I have another question for, for Benji. Yes. This question, this question is from a friend who has been following you since Fortnite. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about returning to an international stage after your participation in the Fortnite World Cup in 2019? Uh, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty amazing, man. I mean, during my Fortnite days, I wasn't really able to play on stage that much because, you know, I think my prime was during COVID. So um, it was all online. So that was kind of unfortunate. Um, but to be able to be back on stage i mean i think it's a dream for every player to be playing on stages like this so yeah man very very happy uh, to say the least thank you so much thank you we'll go to Azri from gosu gamers next thanks so much congratulations gentlemen just got a quick question for you now that you guys are have, are going into the, ne the next stage of the masters shanghai i wanted to ask you guys uh, what was it like actually playing in the Benz Arena? Like, I mean, the previous arenas was a little bit smaller and now it's like you're facing like an even bigger audience. Did that like motivate you guys even further? Was that like, did you guys have a lot more nerves? Could you just give me a little bit more on that if you don't mind? I can answer if you don't want to. I mean, I've been answering a lot, but okay. I didn't play me at all. Okay, all right. Um, I think all of us were very, very excited. I mean, I can speak for me personally. I was a bit nervous, I think. I don't know. I normally I don't feel nervous before games, but the fact that it's an arena like this and there's so many people, um, yeah, I think it's natural to feel a bit nervous. Um, but I think once we got on stage, you know, and we heard the fans, you know, I think they were on our side, which um, we're very grateful for. Um, I think we gained a, quite a few Chinese supporters while we've been playing this tournament. So, um, yeah, I hope I hope it's going to be the same for the next games. Yeah, see you in the next Billy Billy streams. Yeah, Billy Billy streams. Let's go. I mean, if I can add a bit, uh, I can see uh, other guys when they play on the stage like this. I think it feels for me that they use it as a place to show themselves. Like everybody is watching and they're motivated. It brings them confidence and, and like they're just playing super well uh, and showing themselves off. So I think that's how they feel. Correct. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to Pedro Romero for the next question. Yes, uh, this question goes to Neil. Um, given the fact that, uh, as, as as it has been mentioned a few times already in this press press conference, the familiarity between you guys and G two, you know, given the fact that you guys played each other twice beforehand and lost both times uh, uh, as at that. How do you think that familiarity will play into tomorrow, given how you, it will be a best of five and there'll be a lot more maps to play uh, and a lot more maps to choose from? Uh, 
appear to those past two encounters. Yeah, I think it'll be a really fun game and a very, very good learning experience for for me, for Vu. It's going to be a late night for us tonight. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just excited to play against them again. Um, and for us, it's a completely different game. Like, honestly, the last two games don't really count, in my opinion. Like, we we have the chance to have a kind of a fresh start and have a, another go at it, you know? So we got some stuff. I mean, we got a lot of stuff right when we played them last time, I think. That's fair to say. Um, and we learned a lot from the reasons why we didn't win. So, yeah, we're just going to focus on ourselves, focus on our prep, and take the lessons that we've learned already. And we, like, I think it was Boo that said earlier, um, we focus on our fundamentals on ourselves. We've got a very, very good chance of making it to the grand final. Thank you. Uh, we'll take a question from the room now. You guys are so incredible today. And I just want to know everybody was shouting for you. Did you hear the cheers from all of the crowds? Of course. Yes, we did. Oh, of course we did. It was so loud. There so, so loud. many people. Like, it was an incredible experience. I think it's super cool when you make like a really good play or you hit a nice shot. And you know you, you can hear it through the headphones. Like it, it kind of gives you confidence. So, yeah, I think we all loved it. Really, guys, I didn't even hear anything in game. <laughs> Only after the game, I'm impossible. Uh, you're dead. I could feel it from the coach's room as well and hear it. So I think Ennis was just probably locked in. It was so loud. We go on Incredible. stage, like everyone was shouting, and it was so hype. It was so nice, and it's like first time I'm seeing something like this, and first time being in a place like this. So it was. Hyping, but in game, I I don't even remember. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like I'm I'm in the stadium concert, and I am singer, like something like that. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. I've also never seen this kind of support, like from any fan base before. It's insane. Yeah. Like people waiting outside, giving the boys gifts. Like we go for a restaurant, and there's just random people coming up to us. Like it's insane. It's super nice. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm just so fun. happy that we managed to. We make an impression, you know. Someone give me shaker with milkshake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a wingman, bro. Someone give him a wingman with the milkshake. <laughs> he had it on stage today. So, yeah, the gifts and stuff are really, really cool. And yeah, the Chinese fans have been incredible, to be honest. Incredible. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more questions from the room? Uh, any more questions from the remote media? Uh, Nerditude. Thank you so much. Okay. My question is for, for Patitek. Um, you come to support Heretics as a last minute substitute. How, how do you feel about your excellent performance during this master? I mean, I just came here to to show that I'm still capable of playing at tier one, and I think I did a pretty good job lately. But uh, it just, everyone in this team is, is it's insane. Like the coaching staff, uh, Everyone in this team is like super hyped to play, super hyped to prove uh, everyone that they deserve to win the tournament. And I'm just a uh, six piece that like um, trying to help them achieve that. Thank you so much. He's very humble from Patty. He's incredible. Like literally incredible. He's like a coach's dream. So anyone listening, please don't hesitate anymore. It's pissing me off. <laughs> He's not got a team yet, but also very nice for us. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, last call for any questions. Heretics, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.